I think the, the typical thing to think of would just be like the beaches and like the relaxed atmosphere and kind of away from the city and um, um, just the different cultures. Like I, I imagine it to be a lot different from here. Um, as in New Zealand? Yeah, as in New Zealand or, or um, the States. Just um, a lot different, a lot more relaxed and a lot. The culture is probably a lot different. something um, exotic and different, uh, probably very nice weather, beach, and uh, quite a different culture. For me, it's like all many islands, someone with a lot of people, someone with no one. It's like idyllic for surfers, for surfing. It's the best way to go if you're a surfer. And it's where many people want to go just to stay relaxed and be far from home and to and to avoid the routine and what they do every day, working. So it's like a relaxing place. Depended on the island, but it could range from pretty touristy to really friendly and but more native. So you saw a range of different culture. And you could, depending on where you were on the island, you could see the uh, culture conflicts. I meet some people. I, w I meet a girl from there, and and a, and a man also, and they they explain that some typical places to go, not many tourists and and really nice to see. And that we we'll talk about the island, our our and about Spain also. They really want to know a lot of of where I'm from. Well actually there's one other thing that I looked into I just remembered. My mom found this um volunteer thing. Um and it's like you spend a month in Rarotonga um, and I would be able to volunteer at like a mental health hospital and I was like major so it would be really really cool. It would incorporate like not only being in a really beautiful place but also getting to volunteer there and I'd feel like I'd be more involved um, in the culture and probably getting to know a lot more people. It's organized by the Klapsenstalking um, University of Okinawa. Um, it, yeah, it's called Kava Experience. Um, it's, but I know already it's an evening, about three hours, um, when we, that what we spend with um, people from Fiji, from Fiji, and we, we drink that kind of special drink of them, which called Kava. Um, and the idea behind of this mostly that this is a way how we can experience a bit more um, other cultures, which is close to New Zealand, but still something else. Um, yeah, I'm just excited because I, I really wanted to go to Fiji, and I feel that this is a good opportunity to to have a bit of experience of them. Um, the thing I would be more interested in would be um, getting to know the culture of it, or maybe visiting uh, the, the people from their like villages and stuff, and then like plenty of water sports. I'm not sure. I, I probably, I would say it doesn't include Australia, but probably people think that it includes New Zealand, but I'm confused with, it, with this as well, so probably it's just in my mind that I would include.
New Zealand? All the islands south of Indonesia and Hawaii. Yeah, I'd include Indonesia, Australia, and New Zealand all in there, along with Hawaii. Well, the only thing that I would like to say that it's like there are there there are so in the same Pacific Island as I've been in two. These two were completely different, so it's really different to go to Hawaii, which is from the States, for going to Bali, which is from Indonesia. So it's really it's really different, but. The image that the tourist agencies show you is maybe the same. The same they show you like a, a really nice beach, but when you go there, the the islands are completely different. So you should go there to realize it. So what's different? Sorry, can you say that? About cultural differences, about all differences. I mean, in. In Hawaii, I, I, in the main cities, you can find really huge hotels and things like that, and you cannot find it. And I didn't see anyone in Bali. Places that are probably a little too touristy than they should be, um, and that the natives have probably been overwhelmed by it. So they cater more and more to it, and that's become the center of their life. So I'd say they're losing a lot of what makes them unique on a lot of the islands.